First, when we came here to Baltimore, it was a big culture shock, mm -hmm. serious culture shock. And uh, seven people, we arrived on the plane with just two bags, mm -hmm. was accepted by the Jewish community in Baltimore um, who sponsored our family. Stayed here for two years, could not find much uh, in product design schools here. So mm -hmm. I applied to Parsons. I was freelancing, I was traveling to Russia for my work, I was teaching design there. I mean, first inspirations, of course, came um, from trash <laughs> for me, as you can tell from my work, right. and it's a lot of it in New York. <laughs> that was my first, just a mo sheer amount of stuff that's thrown away in this country. I do start with a problem, and uh, I make make and that's exactly how I teach my students and that's what I try to do myself I list um, hundreds of problems and they start from a bigger problems problems of okay um, pile of garbage or plastic in the middle of the ocean it's not a problem it's a manifestation of a problem okay. so what's the real problem real problem that we we don't have any other way of delivering goods rather than this artificially made plastic which is not when it was designed, no one thought it need to be break down I in the ecosystem. So the problem is we don't have right material. So looking at really of a root of the problem, dealing with the manifestation of a problem that's not going to get you there. Mm -hmm. But of course, you need to know everything about materials and uh, and uh, processes and where things come from, where the whole life cycle, who makes it. Uh, what kind of uh, situation they have there, if they underpaid, is it fair trade? So I think by learning gradually, I evolve and change my perspective on how much difference it's going to make. I'm glad certainly that it's becoming popular. I wish people were more aware of what it means. <laughs> people still have to understand that de design does not mean things that look cool or objects. I like to see it, you know, move in the, in the right direction. I mean, of course, we try to make a living, but uh, we can no longer just create stuff and or make stuff that looking cool and sell. I mean, it's just no more place for that. I I believe. I think we really need to to start thinking differently.